How's it going guys? It's me Simon and in this video I'm going to show you how to complete Turtle Rock in this Link's Awakening walkthrough. Play the Frog's Song of Souls to wake him up. His movement is really like a snake so we need to dodge his attack moving left and right. And once he smashes himself into the wall and becomes dizzy, drop a bomb and it'll take off a piece of his armour. So once you've done it three times, he is now unprotected and we'll do the same but now we can slash him with the sword to take him out. And now we've gained access into Turtle Rock, so let's begin. Okay, so head straight into the first room of the dungeon, we're met with a new enemy, the Vyre. Use your shield to deflect his beams and also the boomerang to attack him to take him out. When he splits into two, you've got to time your slash attack when he flies at you. And it'll open the door, so now we're going to head left. Inside here, we're going to use our shield again to deflect beams to this eye and take out the worms and we'll be able to enter through the next door. So from here head into the next room where we'll be met with the Hinox. To defeat the Hinox we need to dodge him from grabbing us and then attack him from behind or to the side. As you can see I've got boosted attack so I managed to defeat him quite easy here. And of course pick up the fairy, regain some health and then let's continue on. Now we've got puzzle to solve, we need to move the stone guider to make it L shape just like that so we can head down towards the next part of the dungeon. Here inside the treasure chest it's optional, inside it's only 50 rupees. So take out the sparks with your boomerang and da da 50 rupees. Now we can continue on through here. And as we enter the next room we're met with rolling bones, another mini boss battle. So dodge his rolling spikes and start attacking him. It takes about three attacks to interrupt his pattern and then take him out. And then we can continue on to the next part of the dungeon. So from here, collect your fairy and then head up into the next room. We don't have time to stop because the vire is in there and also the sparks so take them out and we'll be able to get our first key there we go pick up the key and let's head back and now we're gonna head down into the other part of the dungeon here we need to take out all the gels but also the vortex in the corner so wait for the vortex to stop and then smash him out and then head over to the treasure chest and we can get the compass so now head back to the beginning and we're going to head forward and here we're going to use the moving steps again. We're going to create an L shape and go to the left. Now we're going to bomb down this wall. Follow your way through, take another left and we're going to go underground and here's the underground path. Like a platform Mario game, just jump across. Try not to get hit by the molten lava things. Once you've reached the other side. And in this next room, use the pot, smash all these worms, take them out. We're going to head to that treasure chest where we can get the owl's beak. And there we go. And now let's head through that next door. We have met with another mini boss, the Smasher. This is probably my favorite mini boss. It's kind of like a game of dodgeball with two people, but with a rock boulder. So pick up the boulder, just keep throwing it at him. Four hits and he's out. From here, let's head up into the next room. Here we're gonna get the clue from the owl, but first we take out the enemies, deflect the light beams, tread on that button and then take out the gels that get in our way. And the owl will give us a clue and it says, fill all the holes with the rocks that roll using the L stick. So let's head into this next room where we're gonna use that clue and fill in the holes with this rock that rolls, apparently. So it has to be done in this pattern as you can see on the screen, otherwise you won't be able to do it and you won't get this special key. There we go. So go and pick up the key. 
So from here, let's head back to the entrance and we're going to go and access new parts of the dungeon we haven't accessed before. So use the stone roller in between these two blocks and then push the right one down into the lava, head up. And now we can use the key to unlock this block. Head right, watch out for the via, take him out if you can. And we're going to unlock another door. That's the two keys we've used already. So from here in this room, we need to watch out for the spin blades to go into the next room. Here, take out the green gels. There's four of them and the door will unlock and then we can go through and carry on. Okay, head forwards. Here to get the key, we've got to take out the, both the mummies. So watch out, the floor will break if you stand on it for too long. And once you've taken out all the mummies, you can head back to the entrance area and we can pick up another key and then we we'll continue on left. Okay, from here, let's take out the Dodongo snakes. But if you can, save as many bombs as possible because we will need them later on to defeat them again because we can't actually access this treasure chest. And we will have to redo that battle bit again. So just hop on over to this door on the right, left hand side and carry on. Here you can see the nightmare dungeon which is in the center. We need to access that staircase later on. Now we met with some fires, a fire and the worms. Defeat them or not, we can try and take them out. But let's head down. Here we've got a small puzzle. Take out the sparks first. Get them out of the way. Now on this platform we need to, to, to get onto this platform we need to walk on the left hand side and then stand on top and then switch to our bow and arrow shoot arrow at the statue into its eyes till it lights up and we can pick up the next key now from here let's head left small puzzle here to get the treasure chest but remember to deflect the beams back at this spinning eye guardian thing that shoots beams and pick up the treasure chest to get another key perfect now let's head back and now we're going to head back up and up this staircase. And now we're on the mountain range at the outside of the dungeon. You can pick up a heart container here, which is always good. And over here we can access this warp pad so that we can teleport back in to Turtle Rock really easily. You know when I was saying earlier that you need to defeat the Dodongo snakes again? We need to enter this doorway to access the top of the area where the Dodongo snakes were. And now we have to defeat them from up here again to get the treasure chest. So place your bombs as you know, try and predict their movements. So then they swallow the bombs and blow up. Three hits each and they're out and then we can pick up the treasure chest, which is over here. There you go, we've got another key. Let's head back. We're gonna jump over. Now let's go up on this platform. We can get some medicine in this treasure chest. Use the hook shot to reach over. And then we can drop off on the left hand side, right hand side. We can pick up all these bombs, arrows and life. Now continue back to where we have the stone mover. Just one room from the first room with the via and now we're going to enter this not this bit but there's a hole in the wall that we blew up earlier on here we're going to hit the switch make sure the switch is orange so after you've hit the switch we need to make it into the room where there's loads of blocks that are cracked there's four green gels in here that we defeated as well so on this left hand side 
in this part we needed to bomb this area to access a new area. I forgot to record that, but that's how you access this bit. There's a crack in the wall and you just bomb it. And then you can go through this new path of, of the dungeon. You need to follow our way around. Here we just head up onto the higher platform. Here we're going to use hookshot onto that block. So now we can access this staircase <laughs> and this underground path with the molten lava. Make your way across. So once you're on this platform, head down for a mini boss battle against Blano. So he's got really powerful punch and he's quite fast. To defeat him, we need to dodge his attack. So when he's winding up, we need to move up or down and then we'd be able to dodge his attack and then we can slash him with the sword. And eventually after quite a few hits, it'll be a knockout and we've taken out Blano. And the door will open and we also get a warp pad so we can re-access this area. So head up. And that's the reason we hit the blue switch, so we can pass these blue blocks. And here, we've got the magic rod. So now warp your way back to the beginning of the dungeon. Now we've got the magic rod, we can solve another part of the puzzle that we couldn't earlier on. So head through the left door. And then back through the top door, through this bit where we defeat the Henox. And now we're going to use the stone roller and we're going to head up. We didn't go this path earlier on, but now we are because we've got the magic rod and we can solve this puzzle. So we need to light up the two fire pieces with the magic rod. There you go. So take out the worms if you would like. And inside we have another key. So head back to the lava pit with the stone roller and we're going to head onto this staircase on this platform here. Here we're going to use the magic rod to melt the ice that's blocking our way. On this second part jump up and melt the top layer of ice so that we can make it to the other side of the ladder. We're heading to another mini boss battle, this time against Kubel. We've defeated Kubel many times before, it's just the same, but he's a little bit faster this time. Drop a bomb about a quarter's way from where he is, and then once he makes his way over, it'll explode in his main body area, and kablamo, he is defeated. So in here we've got another stone roller task. Here we can get the nightmare key, just follow this pattern that I do here. This is how you fill up the room. It just reminds me of the old um, game on the mobile phone, Nokia's, the snake game. Okay, now head on to the other side, pick up the nightmare key. We're getting closer to the final battle, so. So head back to the lava pit. This time we're gonna head to this right hand side it's the same area where we had to hit the switch, but there's a staircase just above that part. We're going to go on there and there's ice for us to break as well. So use the magic rod. You need to clear exactly what I do in this puzzle. Got to melt all the ice cubes, not all the ice cubes, but this path. You got to make this path so that we can drop down and then use the magic rod to smash through that ice. And now climb back up and then we're going to drop through that gap. Here we need to melt the bottom layer and that layer and that creates a perfect staircase for us to go through. So arm yourself with the magic rod before entering this door because we're now going to take on Hothead. To defeat Hothead we need to just throw beans from the magic rod at him and it'll send him bouncing around like crazy so we need to dodge him when he does that and we just need to keep hitting him as he bounces around like crazy and the more we get closer to defeating him the more crazy he gets but eventually you defeat him and he kind of looks like this and 
kaboom. We've now completed Turtle Rock and we'll be ready to take on the Windfish in the last video of the series. So if you enjoyed this video guys, consider subscribing for more videos like this or watch another video to help support my channel. I'm Simon from LOG Level 1 Gamer. Until next time, peace out.